Hi guys, I'm Ronnie and this is Multicultural Motherhood. Welcome back and if you're new to this channel then welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I am a mum of four living in the southwest of England and I make videos all about motherhood, homeschooling and multicultural family life. <music> Now today I want to talk about something which I get asked a lot and that is why I wear a hijab. Many people will know that Muslim women wear a hijab. Not all Muslims, I might add, um, but a lot of Muslim women do wear a hijab. And this is because in the Quran it actually says that we should cover ourselves up. Now there is some debate about whether this means to cover the hair or not. But for me, I feel that it is to cover the hair as well. Now, I want to talk a bit about my hijab story, when I started to wear the hijab and so forth. So I converted to Islam when I was 19 years old. That was um, 11 years ago now. And when you convert to Islam, I think, you know, there's just so much excitement about all aspects of the religion and one big thing is wearing hijab. A lot of people, they convert and they just want to wear the hijab straight away, which is something that did happen to me as well. I was like, oh my God, this is so excited. I converted, I got given loads of hijabs from everyone and I was like, this is so cool. I had no idea how to style it or anything. I used to watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube or ask my friends, like, how do you even put this on and things. Um, so yeah, I was really, really excited. Um, actually, going back a bit before that, before I was even Muslim, my husband did ask his mum to send me some really pretty um, Turkish hijabs over from Turkey. And if you don't know what they look like, I will show you them now. So yeah, his mum sent me over some of these from Turkey. I don't think these are, these are not the original ones that she sent me over, but if you haven't seen them before, they are square hijabs, very, very thin material, which is great for the summertime or warmer weather, or great for starting to wear hijab as well because they don't make your head too hot. Um, and around the edge, I don't know whether you can see, is beautiful crochet. This one's got crochet and beads. Can you see that? Um, and this one, this is another one, has got these beautiful crochet around the edge. Now Turkish women, they actually buy these scarves without the crochet and they all sit around in their houses um, doing the crochet around the edges of the scarves and they are so beautiful. I just absolutely love them. They're probably my favourite scarves to wear. Um, so yeah, before I became Muslim, my husband got his mum to send me some of these over and um, I used to really enjoy wearing them actually. I just think they look really beautiful, um, especially with all the crochet and the beads around the edge. I just absolutely love them. So yeah, I did wear the scarf sometimes before I even became Muslim. And that was normally when we went to see Turkish people, you know, because I was just trying to probably blend in and fit in with them. And I wanted to respect them by covering up because all of the Turkish women were covered up and I just thought I wanted to be respectful. And that was a good way to be respectful when I went to visit them. I did get a bit of negativity about that actually. There was a another revert sister who did say to me, she felt offended that I was wearing a scarf as a non-Muslim, she felt offended that I was wearing a scarf actually, which I thought was really strange because I just thought I was trying to, um, you know, not to offend by covering up, but she told me she felt offended, so I don't know. If you saw a non-Muslim wearing a headscarf, would you feel offended? Please let me know down in the comments, I would love to know whether you'd feel offended by that. So anyway, I did start to wear the scarf before I became Muslim. Then when I became Muslim, I was like, that is it. I'm going to start wearing the scarf. I'm going, I want to identify as Muslim. I want everyone to know that I was Muslim. You know, when you become Muslim, you just feel like so excited. You just want to go out and shout about it. So I put on the scarf and then I went to visit my parents and oh my God, my mum was not happy at all. She basically said to me, take that off or get out. And you know, as a new reaver, I was quite shocked by this. I don't know why, I probably should have been shocked. I probably should have expected something like that. Um, but yeah, so I just left her house then and then we didn't speak for a couple of days. 
Um, and then I decided actually that it was really important to maintain family ties and I need to be respectful of my parents as well. So then I didn't wear the scarf around my parents for a long, long time after that, actually a number of years, probably about six years after that. It took me then six years to start wearing the scarf in front of my parents again. Um, and yeah, I know when I go to their house, I don't have to wear it anyway because, you know, we don't have to wear it around our family members. But, you know, even when we, I went out and about with my parents, I then didn't wear the scarf because I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable. And um, I just wanted us to maintain family ties and get along. So I was actually a part time hijabi for quite a long time. I'd wear it when my parents weren't there. And then when I went to see my parents or when I went out with my parents, I wouldn't wear it. When did I really start to wear the hijab properly i remember probably about a year after i converted i started university and i'd been at university for about a month and i was not wearing hijab and one day i was just walking along the road by some of the university buildings and this girl came up to me and she said oh my god do i know you from church and i was like huh <laughs> no you can't possibly know me from church because i'm not christian i'm a muslim um and I was quite shocked by this, but then I thought, actually, as a white British girl, if I'm not wearing a scarf, people have no idea that I'm Muslim. People will start to offer me things. They may try to make me go clubbing or drink alcohol or something like that um, because they just wouldn't even think that I was a Muslim. I mean, from looking at me, from my appearance, they wouldn't know that I was Muslim. And I started to think that actually I did want to be out I did want to outwardly show that I was Muslim so that it would protect me from this kind of behaviour and these kind of temptations, I guess. Um, so yeah, probably about a month into, a month after I started university, I then decided to um, wear the hijab. And I remember the first time I put the hijab on in um, I went into lectures, I was literally so nervous. I was just like, oh my God, I didn't want to do it. Like, I really wanted to do it, but then I didn't want to do it because I was really worried about other people's reactions. Um, so it really took a lot of courage for me to do that. So if you are a Muslim woman who is thinking about putting on the hijab, I do understand what you feel like. I remember all of those feelings. They are just so nerve wracking. But I made a few friends, a few Muslim friends on my course and I had told them before that I was going to do this and they were really encouraging and supportive so I kind of felt good that I had these people around me to kind of um, support me in my journey. So I remember I put the hijab on, I was feeling so nervous and I walked in and yeah I probably did get a lot of stares at that point because People, I'd only been in university for a month, I didn't know a lot of people then, people probably did not expect me to be Muslim. Um, so yeah, they were probably shocked at first, but after, you know, that initial shock, people just forget about it, don't they? I mean, it then just becomes normal and, you know, they, everyone's accepting of it. I mean, what can they do at university? I just feel like universities are an accepting place anyway. There are lots of kind of different people that go there and, you know, they're just good places to be. So I started wearing hijab then and yeah, I had lots of different hijabs. I wasn't really sure how to style them or anything. So it took me quite a long time to work out what felt comfortable to me. I had the really beautiful, um, thin cotton Turkish hijabs, which I absolutely love to wear. Um, but also I had some thick square um, Turkish scarves as well, the silky ones. And I really liked them because I loved how the Turkish women wore them. And I spent a lot of time with Turkish women because my husband is Turkish. Um, but I tried them on and you know what? I just absolutely hated them because I just felt like I couldn't hear properly with them on. I know it might sound strange, but the material's really thick and every time I wear them, I just felt like I couldn't hear properly. It was all really muffled and everything. So I soon stopped wearing them. Then I started to, I went through a stage of wearing the pashmina scarves, you know, with the like tassels on the bottom and they're also quite a thick material. I did not get on very well with those at all. And then I discovered these kind of thin viscose scarves, maxi viscose scarves. And these are my hijab of choice. I absolutely love these. I think probably all of the ones, 
most of the ones I own are like this. I absolutely love them. And I found a style I was comfortable with. And yeah, I just started to um, really enjoy wearing hijab. Um, now, like I said, I, I was wearing hijab part time because when I spent time with my family, I took the hijab off. Um, and it was really difficult because I really felt bad about this. I felt bad that I'd wear it sometimes and I wouldn't wear it other times. I really wanted to be consistent. Um, so what happened actually was I ended up moving to Germany for a while, um, about six, seven months I lived in Germany. And at that point, that was when I started to wear hijab full time because, you know, obviously my family weren't around there and no one knew me and I just felt like I could um, be myself and wear what I wanted. So I started to wear hijab full time then. And then when I moved back to the UK, I thought, hang on, I've been wearing this hijab full time for six, seven months now. I want to continue it. So then I did start to wear it in front of my parents again. And I'm not sure if they liked it, but they got used to it. They got used to the fact that I was Muslim by then. I think at the start, it was a shock that I had even become Muslim, let alone put on a headscarf. But you know what? I still feel a bit uncomfortable sometimes wearing it like this around them. And quite often when I see them, I do tend to wrap it around the back and wear it turban style instead. And I feel a lot more comfortable like that. Um, and to be honest, I just love the turban style anyway. I quite often wear it like that. When I'm wearing the nice Turkish scarves like this, I do wrap those round the back of my hair as well um, and not have them round my neck. And for me, um, there are so many different ways to be modest. For myself, personally, I don't feel the need to cover my neck and everything. I do feel like it's okay to wear a turban style and I really enjoy wearing a turban style as well. I feel really comfortable wearing a turban style. I think there are loads of different ways to be modest and it's not just about wearing complete black flowy baggy abaya and scarf like this wrapped around everywhere i feel like you could be modest without dressing like that i'm never wearing a buyer i um i did buy a few before and you know i just never wear them it wasn't me i didn't feel myself i didn't feel comfortable in them uh, so i never wear a buyers um for years i wore harem trousers or maxi skirts now i'm starting to wear a venture out and started to wear a few more different things because I feel like um, the fashion at the moment is really, really modest with all the baggy wide leg trousers. I feel like it's so modest at the moment. So I actually did a new look fashion haul recently. I'm going to put a link to that down in the comments below as well. So you can see like what kind of things I'm starting to wear at the moment. I mean, there are plenty of ways to be modest and hijab is just one of them. If you don't want to wear hijab, I feel like you can still be really, really modest without wearing hijab. I do not feel like a hijab is the be all and end all. But for me at the moment, I am wearing it and I can't say whether I will wear it forever, but I feel like it is the right thing for me to do at this time. So yeah, I don't really ever feel like taking it off, to be honest, like I'm quite happy. Like sometimes if I don't wanna wear it like this, I'll just wear it like a turban. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about all about my hijab story. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to follow along my motherhood journey. Um, I would love to know whether you wear hijab and how your journey to wearing a hijab was, how you feel about it now. Please leave comments down below in the comments box and I would love to read through them. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account at Multicultural Motherhood where I post daily on my Insta stories and on my grid so you can follow along my motherhood journey also over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.